Uh, here's a couple of questions about that. I have contact info for the people my spouse is involved with. Is it a push behavior to reach out to them and tell them to leave him alone so that we can work on our marriage? April asked that. What do you expect to accomplish, April? Do you, are these the kind of people who don't realize that your husband's a married man, who don't realize that he's cheating on you, and you think they're such good, high-minded, moral people that when you tell them that, they're going to go, oh, my goodness, we didn't know. We need to stop. Or are they the kind of people who wouldn't care, who that when you say that to them will actually use it against you with your husband? And even if they are the good people, how do you think your husband's going to react to that if you go talk to those people? You see, sometimes we call that throwing another person under the bus. It means I'm going to go to people who matter to him or to her, and I'm going to tell them this and tell them that and those kinds of things. What do you expect to accomplish with that? Do you think that once they feel betrayed by you, once they feel that you have turned other people against them, is that a pull? where they feel pulled more back toward you? Or do you think they're going to see it as a push? Now, if you think it's the right thing to do, if you think it's a standing push, then if that's what you think is the right thing to do, you do it. But think it through carefully. As I've been saying several times now, what is the potential consequence? What's your goal? What's the likelihood you'll actually accomplish that goal? What's the likelihood you're going to accomplish something else altogether? together? 